requested me to make sofrito so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and make for those of you guys that are seeing this for the first time and you didn't watch my Puerto Rican rice video sofrito is basically what we Puerto Ricans make um, just for like the flavor and we blend it up and we make it and we put it in basically everything we put it in our rice put it in our meat put it in our beans um, basically if you don't have um, sofrito you really can't cook Puerto Rican food so I'm gonna go ahead and make some. I'm only gonna make a little bit because I already have some in my refrigerator, so I'm just gonna make a little bit for you guys and tell you guys how to do it. So it basically depends on how much you're gonna make. I'm only gonna make a little bit, so I'm only getting two beach. It's really simple. If you're gonna make more, then you would of course use way more. Usually for a month supply, like about a month supply, and I just freeze the extra that I'm not using. I use five, so we'll use five bell peppers, five onions, five cilantro, and then five heads of garlic. This one's already pre-peeled, so they're like the whole heads, if you're going to get it fresh and like peel garlic, it's five full, if you're going to make five of each. So today I'm only making a little bit, so I'm only using two of each, so I'm using two bell peppers, two onions, two cilantro, and then I'm using two heads of garlic. And then of course you're going to need a blender. So um, just to make something very clear, this is something that I learned from my grandparents, my parents, like my family. Um, everybody, every Puerto Rican has their own way of doing things. This is the way I grew up, this is the way I was taught, and it tastes pretty good. I use it in all my food, and to this day, thank God, I haven't had not one complaint on any of my food. So, you can go ahead and follow my steps and this is an easy the easiest way I can think to make your sofrito at home so now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the bell pepper and onion and just so I can fit in my blender and I can blend it all together first of course you guys have to wash everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up I go ahead and chop it up like this just so I can push it all in the blender I do not use the bottom part so this is what it looked like before of course and then I wash it and then I go ahead and chop it up like this. I don't use this part, I throw this part out. I know some people just use the whole thing. Me personally, I don't use the ends. So I go ahead and add water to this. Don't add too much. I just put about that much just so that it can mix together. You don't want to put too much because then the sofrito will be really watery. After I put the cilantro in there, I usually throw the two heads of garlic in there also. I just go ahead and blend this up. And you want it to be chopped really good and mixed really good so it's more like um, a paste than chunky like salsa or something. After I chop up my cilantro and my garlic, I go ahead and remove the seeds from my bell pepper and I just cut them in little chunks, rip them up just so that they can fit in the blender. And depending on your blender and how it works, you can go ahead and chop them up into your sizes. These are pretty big sizes but my blender chops it up just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the cilantro and the garlic. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all of this in here. I always do the onions last because they make them cry and my eyes burn. So I always do them last because I kind of hate having to do it. And of course all these ingredients, if you're doing way more, if all these ingredients, the five um, peppers, onions, or whatever, it's not going to fit in a blender. So I always take a little rice pot and I go ahead and empty whatever I have in there into the pot as I'm blending. Just so that I can go ahead and mix it all together at the end. Instead, I went ahead and emptied about half of it into my pot just so that I can have space for the onions and I don't have to add any more water. Ed, you don't want it to be watery because the worst thing is watery sofrito. That's like why I don't like the can, the pre-made one. So after I go ahead and cut my onions up, I cut them in little chunks just like the bell pepper and I'm going to go ahead and add that to the blender and mix that one all together. So after I go ahead and mix everything up, like I said, I'm going to go and empty everything into the pot and I'm going to mix that together and make sure it looks good, it's thick enough, and that it smells like sofrito. I take a big rice spoon and I go ahead and just mix. Make sure it's not too watery, it's kind of thick, it's not, it doesn't just look, it actually has like, I don't want to say chunks to it, just like a good consistency that it's not all watery. 
After you mix everything together, you're going to want to smell it. Um, if you are Puerto Rican or if you know a Puerto Rican, you know that our main thing is garlic. We put basically garlic in everything and it's always a lot. It's always like the same amount, two, 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 two. But me, I like to put like two to two and a half um, heads of garlic. That's just my personal thing. But you can just do the regular amount, like even everything and it'll taste fine. I just put a little extra because I like the way it tastes like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this in a pote and show you guys my finished result. I'm over here looking at my sofrito and I don't like the fact that it's um, a little too light green. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more cilantro and add a little bit more just for me for my personal. So I can go ahead and add, add that more dark green look that I like. So I go ahead and put them in potes like anything like butter potes uh, sour cream anything just to put them away I do have some Tupperware too but I will show you what it looks like in a little bowl after I added the extra cilantro just so you don't see my butter bowls this is the finished product I did add a little bit more cilantro and a little bit more water that's why you see the water right here so you can freeze the sofrito I always put like I said I always make a lot so I go ahead and freeze a couple potes and I always leave one out um, it lasts a long time in the freezer I only make a month's supply so, um, I usually keep mine for about a month and then I'm down to my last pote when I have to go back and get more so five of each should last you about a month if you cook on average like every day or every other day like I do I'll go ahead and list the ingredients down below in the description just so you guys can have that um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is what you guys asked me for and I hope it was helpful or I know there's other Puerto Ricans out there who are gonna come for my neck when they tell me that something's wrong or something this not this way or that way this is the way I was taught this is the way my parents my grandparents taught me and this is how I make my Puerto Rican food. And like I said before in the beginning of the video, I have not got a complaint thus far, thank God. Thank you for your comments on the last video of my Haroko Gandule. Thank you for all the positive comments that you guys leave on there. Like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys next time.